Traction is the force used to generate motion between a body and a tangential surface to the use of dry friction. Now, it's that last word that means everything. The resistance that one object encounters when moving over another. Think of the way a figure skater glides across the ice during one of their performances. The friction between the ice and the skate blades is low, and that allows them to glide effortlessly. Conversely, the friction that occurs when you strike a match is high, and without it, you'd have no fire. For vehicles, traction is critical for both acceleration and deceleration. In other words, it's why you don't don't slam into the vehicle in front of you when you hit your brakes. Tires are easily the most underrated safety feature on the vehicles. The most important factor in grip is not so much the tread design, but that softer rubber compound that will give grip to a winter tire when the temperatures are starting to drop below plus seven degrees Celsius. Well, this summer all season tire has a harder rubber compound. This tire is going to be on your vehicle in July and August. The asphalt can be, you know, 60 degrees Celsius. So that rubber compound has to be hard enough that it won't wear out in 3,000 kilometers. So as the temperatures drop, it hardens up. It turns into a hockey puck by the time winter temperatures roll around. Now, why don't we just keep winter tires on the entire year if they're that much better? That's a good question. And the problem with that is that soft rubber compound that works well in minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 gets too soft when it gets into July and August. It'll actually get less grip. And on top of that, it's going to wear out faster. Picking the correct type of tire is only half the battle. Human error is the catalyst for most collisions during any type of weather, which is why it's a good idea to practice and stay vigilant. That would be my left. I've just killed us all. <laughs> yeah, you did. With your hands at three and nine, that is all the steering input you need to do collision avoidance. However, if you stare at that pylon in the middle, and that's natural because that's the threat to you, you'll end up driving right at it because we steer with our eyes, not with our hands. Now, if you need to leave the comfort of smooth asphalt or concrete, there's one more detail you should think about. And for that, I visited my friends at the Ontario Regiment Museum in Oshawa. Well, the most important thing is ground pressure. If you're walking through deep snow, with shoes on, all your weight is on just a small amount of square inches. So you're really pushing a lot of pressure through the mud, the snow, whatever. If you are wearing snowshoes, your weight is distributed. So you are reducing your ground pressure, which is the amount of weight per square inch. Tracks distribute the weight. They can go on top of snow much better than, for instance, narrow wheels. So then why don't all cars in Canada just switch to tracks? Wheel vehicles are a lot faster than track vehicles. But in mud and crud, wheeled vehicles will always be more of a challenge than tracked vehicles. In 2018, just in Ontario, there were over 67,000 vehicles involved in collisions. So it's extremely important to be considerate of your car's traction, especially in slippery conditions.